my name is DJ Kiva here at Dubspot NYC. I'm here today to show you a little bit about one of the most powerful drum machines that's ever been made. I'm talking about the Tempest Analog Drum Machine. It's from Dave Smith Instruments, and this was designed by two real innovators and pioneers in the field of electronic instrument design, Dave Smith and Roger Lynn. Now today I'm gonna to be showing you how you can sync up the Tempest to work with Ableton Live. We're gonna be looking at how you can sync up the MIDI between the two devices, and we'll also be exploring how you can get the audio from the Tempest drum machine into Ableton. So there's two parts of this process. The first thing we need to do is set up Ableton to transmit MIDI to the Tempest. We're going to open our live preferences, and we're going to go to the MIDI sync tab. In the MIDI sync tab, you can see that the Tempest shows up as an input and output device for the MIDI ports. I'm going to come to the Tempest output MIDI port and I'm going to enable the sync button. This will transmit MIDI from Ableton to control the Tempest. The next part will take place on the Tempest itself. There's some system preferences that we have to switch to make it receive MIDI from Ableton. What you want to do is come here to the system button to access the system preferences on the Tempest. We're now going to use this dial to scroll down to the 11th option, which is called MIDI clock mode. Right now, it's set to master where it's receiving MIDI from its own internal clock. Using the third dial, we're now gonna turn this to slave setting. This will make it so it receives the MIDI from Ableton. Now we're gonna scroll down one more row to the 12th option, MIDI clock in cable. Using the third knob here, we're gonna change it to USB. At this point, it's now ready to receive MIDI from Ableton. You can now hit any of the buttons to get out, and it's now ready to go. At this point, when you hit play, it won't play internally. It's now being controlled by Ableton. Now that we have the MIDI set up, it's time to set up the audio. Now, the Tempest does not send the audio via USB. It's going to send the audio through conventional quarter inch instrument cables. On the back panel, it has a total of eight outputs. Now by default, it will send all of the drum sounds through the main outs, one and two. But you can configure it so that you can send some of your sounds, like your kick or your snare, onto their own channels to make it easier to mix down once you get it inside of Ableton. I've set up mine to use six of them today. So, I'm running six quarter inch cables out of my various outputs on the back and I'm running into an 8 in Firewire interface. I'm using a Motu 828 Firewire interface right now. Now in order to get the audio routed correctly, we need to set it up first in Ableton and then on the Tempest. Let's start with Ableton. The first thing that I need to do is go to my audio preferences. I'm going to say live preferences and I'm going to go to the audio window. For the audio input and output device, I'm selecting my interface, the Motu 828. Now the Motu actually has a total of 10 ins and outs, but in order to get them to be recognized, I need to first go to the channel configuration tab. I'm gonna activate the inputs I plan to use. So I'll hit my input configuration. By default, when you load up an interface that has more than two inputs and outputs, Ableton will generally only see the first stereo pair. So I need to go and activate the additional inputs that I want to use. I'm going to activate three and four as stereo pair, but also the option to use them as mono channels. I'm all set in here now, and I can hit OK. Now I'm only using the main stereo out, so in the output configuration tab, the default of one and two will be fine. The next thing I'm going to do, now that I have the preferences configured, is I'm going to set up the individual audio tracks. I have it set up for five audio tracks right now, and I've labeled them at the top with the corresponding output from the Tempest that I want it to get audio from. I'm going to open up the in-out preferences located just to the right of your master volume, and I'm going to go to each channel and make sure that I have the correct input. All of them should be getting audio from the external end, that's the sound card, and then I'll just go down the line and make sure that I have the correct input picked. I'm going to make input one and two receive the hi-hat. You can see where it says audio from, external in is selected. That's going to tell Ableton to look to the sound card for the sound. And one, two is selected. 
for the kick drum, I'm routing that through input three. So I just pick it right here. Notice I have the option to choose a stereo or a mono. I'm using this one as a mono channel. So I'm just gonna pick the three down here by itself. For the Congo, I'm doing it on four. I have some electric bata drum sounds that I made, uh, which are gonna be coming in on five. And then I'll be playing some bass synth on this machine a little bit later using six. So that's all set up. For today's exercise, I'm running everything in monitor auto mode. Auto mode is going to allow me to hear the recording through Ableton. The next thing I need to do is I'm gonna record arm all the tracks. You can see that I have them all armed right here. Now one thing that sometimes people will encounter, it's a simple thing, but just in case you don't know, a lot of the time when you go to arm multiple tracks, the default setting Ableton only allows you to have one at a time. So you can just right click and where it says arm exclusive, just click on that and it will now allow you to arm as many tracks at the same time as you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and arm all of these. The next thing I need to do is now to assign my different sounds to different outputs on the Tempest. Now by default on the Tempest, when you start playing the beat, all of the sounds will come out of the main outs. When we're in the studio, I want to be able to isolate some of the parts onto their own track so I have better control over the mix. So I wanna make it so that my kick drum is gonna be coming out of its own input. I wanna make it correspond with three. I'll show you how we do that. So here's my kick drum on pad 12. Now that I've tapped it, I'm gonna hit this button here which says sounds. This brings up a menu in the window. Now there's some up and down arrows. Take the down arrow and take it all the way down to the bottom until you see this screen here. You'll see that it has a tab which says voice assign. I'm going to use this dial to select output three for the kick. It says V for voice. I'm gonna put it on V3. Now when I look in Ableton, I can see channel three when I hit that. So I'm gonna repeat the process now for my, my Congo square snare right here on three. Hit the pad to select it. And then where it says voice assign, I'm gonna go ahead and assign that to output four. And you just repeat the process for the other instruments. I've already done it for the rest of the channels. Once you're done in there, you can then hit any of the other buttons to return to the normal screen mode. So I've already programmed some sequences into the Tempest. So what I wanna show is just how powerful this drum machine can be where you can do live improvisations with your beats. It has two touch strips, which allow you to manipulate all types of different effects, filters, pitch bends and things real time, as well as many of the controls up on the top panel that control pitch, frequency, the length of the decay, all the features of the synthesizer engine that's generating these sounds can be manipulated real time. Now, we're gonna be manipulating these sounds real time, but then Ableton's gonna be recording the output of the session. What I love about the Tempest is that you can program some stuff, but because it's an analog drum machine, when you start going, this thing takes on a life of its own, and you never know what it's gonna do. You can try to control it, but sometimes it just starts doing the most unbelievable, unexpected things to the sound. Okay, so we're almost ready. We're gonna do one last thing. We're just gonna hit the global record to arrange button in Ableton. As soon as I hit the play button, it's gonna start the Tempest, and it's on. Let's see what happens. Yes. So let's take a look and see what happened there. All right, so we just got one take on that. The great thing about doing it this way is that no two takes will ever be the same. 
So you could run the track a couple times and you'll wind up with completely unique takes every time you run it. Now we have the recording of it all over here now. So I could then use my editing skills in Ableton to take parts that I liked or take parts that maybe I didn't like. And I could either go ahead and copy, duplicate, paste, or remove parts that I wanted to keep or don't want to keep. And because we separated everything onto separate channels, that means that we could then go and put different types of EQ settings for the different parts. Let's say I wanted to have a kick drum EQ for this kick. I can go ahead and throw my kick EQ on there. I can have a different kind of setting for my conga and so on. One of my favorite things to do after I have it recorded is to then use Ableton's effects, sends, and returns so I can go back and dub out the playback. I have a couple different custom echoes that I've made using Ableton audio effects. So let's see what happens if I play back a little bit and then start manipulating some of those effects. In today's modern music production world, with so many virtual instruments inside the computer, I found it very refreshing to play with such a powerful analog piece of equipment. All the knobs and controls are right at your fingertips, and just the very design of the instrument made me create in new and unexpected ways. If you're someone who's interested in making one-of-a-kind unique drum sounds for your tracks, you'll definitely be interested in trying out the Tempest. So thanks for checking out my video. I hope you enjoyed it and got some inspiration. My name is DJ Kiva here at Dubspot NYC. Thanks for coming through and definitely come back to Dubspot's YouTube channels for more cutting edge music videos. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore Dove Spot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.